Okay, here we have a uh, Copeland scroll. This one came in as a locked rotor. Now, there's no real obvious damage to this thing, but we're going to look closer and you'll see why this thing doesn't run. Here we're looking at the uh, solid mounted part of the scroll. If you look close, you can see on the edges here, this is copper colored all along here. It actually goes through most of the scroll. That's copper plating. Copper plating comes from too, uh, too much uh, moisture, air in the system, and it will actually plate copper from the windings of the motor onto um, steel parts of the uh, scroll. Doesn't in piston compressors too. Um, I did one on piston compressors that showed this a while back. Maybe I'll link that thing to this video. But you can see it's copper plated. Now we'll take a look at the rotating or the oscillating scroll too. Okay, here's the uh, oscillating scroll. Might even be a little more obvious on this one. If you look close on there, you can see there's uh, parts of that have got copper on it and parts don't. Okay, that's copper plated. And of course that has raised these up a little bit. And the clearance is extremely tight on these things. The scrolls must be the same height. And uh, the, must, the scrolls must have a specific clearance to where they ride on or they won't seal pro properly. So they make this very accurate seal along here uh, between this and the uh, other scrolls bottom portion. And the same thing with the other one with this one's bottom portion. And because they're so close there, if you get any copper plating from, uh, from moisture in the system, air and moisture, then you're going to end up with uh, that filling up that clearance and it locks it up. And so you end up with a locked rotor compressor. This was poor service work or poor installation. Someone got moisture and air in the system. That's all there is to it.